When traveling to or within the Asia Pacific, there are a lot of airline options to choose from from the budget carriers to the full service airlines. Then there are those who stand out with a positive reception from the traveling public, which results in positive reviews and global recognition for its in flight services. All Nippon Airways, or ANA for short, is one of those airlines. Today, it is recognized as one of the premier airlines of and being a prominent member airline of the Star Alliance. Yet its foundation has and currently is the Japanese domestic market. In this edition of the Asia's Airlines series, we'll take a look at the history of Old Nippon Airways from its start as a domestic carrier to become one of the leading airlines in Asia and the world. ANA had its start in the post-World War II era as Japan was in reconstruction, and it wasn't until the 1950s when the opportunity opened up for local companies to form airlines. One of those companies was ANA, which was founded on December 27, 1952. In its early beginnings, the airline did not operate commercial flights, but instead it was a helicopter service under the name Japan Helicopter and Airplane Transports Company. When translated to Japanese, it reads as Nippon Helicoptera Yuso, which today is the root of the airline's flight code designation by IATA, NH. The company would then begin air services initially for cargo flights between Osaka and Tokyo on December 15, 1953. A few months later, on February 1, 1954, the airline would offer passenger services on the same route using the Havilland Dove aircraft. Within a few years, the airline added more aircraft, such as the DC-3, and expanded its domestic route network within Japan to cover the north to the south. After an initial few years of operation, the airline would change to its current name, All Nippon Airways, in 1957. The following year, it merged with another domestic airline, Far East Airlines, which along with ANA would become the largest private airline in Japan. In the next decade of the 1960s, All Nippon Airways would enter the jet age along with solidifying its presence in the domestic network of Japan, which at the time was entering an era where it was becoming a premier economy in the region. It was during this time that ANA would receive the first of its Boeing jets, the 727s in 1965 and the 737 in 1969. However, what really stood out was the acquisition of Japan's first locally made commercial aircraft, the YS-11, during the mid-1960s. As it continued to grow domestically, there were sites into the 1970s for expanding the presence of ANA beyond the borders of Japan. Its first foray into international flights was charter services between Tokyo and Hong Kong, which were commenced in 1971. However, then the ambitions of ANA were dashed when in 1972 the Japanese government implemented its aviation constitution, which gave national carrier at the time Japan Airlines most of the international flight rights. For ANA, it would be limited to domestic flights and regional charter services. It would also still have to compete with Japan Airlines on the key domestic trunk routes such as going to Tokyo, Osaka, Sapporo, and Naha, but ANA had the opportunity to open up more local routes. While the major shift of the opening of Tokyo Narita Airport would see the shift of international air services shift from Haneda to Narita in 1978, ANA would go big on the domestic network with wide-body aircraft such as the Boeing 747 and Lockheed L-1011. Among the first 747s used by ANA were the special SR versions, short for short range, that was developed by Boeing which, while offering a lower fuel capacity, offered seating of up to 500 passengers. The large jets within the 1970s and 1980s and even well into the 2000s would be a common sight in the skies of Japan, especially on the key routes such as Tokyo to Naha, Osaka, or Sapporo. With a large aircraft in its fleet, ANA would also make the addition of the Boeing 767 in 1983. Already a prominent airline in the domestic market, ANA still had its sights for the international services, and that opportunity would eventually come as the trend of the global aviation industry was heading towards deregulation and doing away with just one airline from the country serving international flights. As the terms of the 1972 aviation constitution were done away with by the mid-1980s, ANA would make its first international flights to the U.S. territory of Guam from Narita Airport in 1986. Following the launch of international flights out of Narita, the airline would later expand to more cities in Asia and North America. As it became the second international airline of choice from Japan, ANA would welcome the first Airbus aircraft to its fleet in 1993 with the addition of the Airbus A320 and A321. By the end of the 1990s, ANA's global network had already expanded to cities in Europe and Australia. 
With the growing interconnectivity of international travel, ANA sensed the opportunity and joined the Star Alliance in 1999. The late 1990s and the early 2000s were a rough time for Asia and the world with the Asian financial crisis, the SARS outbreak, and the 9-11 attacks in 2001, each making their mark on the aviation industry in Asia. Along with that, Japan had its own challenges with the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and the tsunami. Despite those challenges, ANA has continued to carry on even with new challenges into the 21st century, which has seen the Asian aviation scene become more competitive. Among the first major decisions in the mid-2000s that would shape the future of ANA was the acquisition of the Boeing 787 Dreamliners, which ANA would become a launch customer of. In 2004, the airline placed an initial order for 50 of the long-range fuel-efficient aircraft. In addition to the order, ANA would be a key advising airline for Boeing during the development of the aircraft and the initial plan was to start services with the aircraft in 2008. The 787 project would see some delays until 2011 when the aircraft was delivered to ANA and the airline first put the aircraft into commercial use on the Tokyo-Hong Kong route. Since receiving its first Boeing 787, ANA has become the largest operator of the aircraft with over 70 of the jets in its fleet, including the Dash 8, Dash 9, and Dash 10 variants. Another move has been the focus on adding budget carriers to its portfolio to complement the premium services the airline offers. In 2011, it partnered with AirAsia to form a Japanese subsidiary of the low-cost budget brand. After AirAsia backed out from the venture, it was renamed to Vanilla Air, which has since been folded into the Peach Aviation brand that is based in Osaka. ANA was also involved in the rehabilitation of Japanese budget brand Skymark. In 2015, the airline got a stake of around 16% in Skymark and as part of the rehabilitation plan, it acquired three of the ordered Airbus A380s that Skymark would have used. While the aircraft was not part of the overall strategy of ANA, ANA would eventually receive these aircraft and with a special theme and livery of the Flying Honu, it would be deployed exclusively on flights to Honolulu, Hawaii. As ANA continued to grow as a premier airline in the world, some of the biggest decisions it has made in the recent years has been its partnerships with other global airlines, specifically in the form of joint ventures. The carrier has seen a boost from joint ventures with United for the Trans-Pacific market in 2011, which was followed by Lufthansa in Europe. Recently, it has also included Singapore Airlines for travel to Southeast Asia. These joint ventures, especially the one with United, has solidified ANA's presence in the Trans-Pacific market, using Tokyo as a key hub of connecting between Asia and North America. Along with the joint ventures, ANA has also sensed opportunities with the growing market of Southeast Asia with two key strategic partnerships. The first was the purchase of a 8.8% stake in Vietnam Airlines in 2016, which was then followed with a purchase of a 9.5% stake in Philippine Airlines in 2019. While ANA continues to look to expand its network overseas, the biggest shift has been seen at nowhere else but its base in Tokyo, with the opening of international flights from Haneda Airport as part of the dual airport system of the city. After being an exclusively a domestic airport since 1978, ANA sees the opportunity to inaugurate the first five international routes from Haneda Airport, being Los Angeles, Honolulu, Singapore, Bangkok, and Taipei Songshan. Since 2010, Haneda has become a premier international hub for the airline, with the addition of other regional Trans-Pacific and European destinations from the airport. ANA's presence in both airports of Tokyo has benefited not just the airline but also their other joint venture partners by offering travelers a variety of options when traveling to Japan or other parts of Asia. One could say connect from a United Airlines flight from Newark onto a flight to say Bangkok operated by ANA with the convenience of all of it happening within Terminal 1 at Narita. Or, you can have the convenience of arriving at closest airport to the city center of Tokyo, Haneda, which also opens up the opportunity for connections to domestic destinations within Japan. As it has grown its international network, ANA remains strongest in its foundation, the domestic travel market, where it has a combined market share of around 50% of passenger traffic including its budget subsidiaries. Of the over 54 million the airline estimates would travel with ANA, a large majority of 44 million compared to 10 million travel with the airline domestically. 
Its domestic network is also bigger with 52 cities in Japan compared to 44 abroad. The NAA Group does this with a combined fleet of over 300 aircraft and of that there are around 240 aircraft in the mainline fleet along with the Boeing 787s and the two delivered Airbus A380s. The airline has a mix of aircraft including Boeing 737 Next Generation, 767s, 777s, and the Airbus A320, A321 aircraft. Already the largest operator of the Boeing 787 Dreamliners, the airline reportedly placed additional orders for 15 more aircraft and other orders and notable deliveries to the new Boeing 7779X and the last of the three Airbus A380s, of which the delivery has been delayed. In addition to the Boeing and Airbus aircraft, ANA is also expected to be the launch customer of the Mitsubishi Space Jet, a regional-made jet that is Japan's first entry into the commercial aircraft-making market since the YS-11. However, the Space Jet project is currently experiencing delays and there is no set date when the aircraft will make its debut with the airline, or if it will. By consensus, ANA is one of the premier airlines in the world, gaining high distinction in terms of its in-flight services from the likes of Skytrax being a 5-star airline, and one could see a lot of reviews on YouTube for what you could expect on an ANA flight. For plane spotters, ANA has also provided treats in recent years, with several highly popular liveries of aircraft, including the Pokemon and Star Wars jets, not to mention the three flying Honu A380s. Deliveries along with the in-flight services have helped build the brand of ANA into one of the more prominent brands of aviation, where it is a favorite airline or part of your travel bucket list. However, the real strength of ANA has been the business side, where they have been able to manage through crisis and seeing the future opportunities and set trends. I definitely hope you enjoyed this part of the series of Asia's airlines covering all Nippon Airways. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Once again, this is Flights in Asia. Thank you for watching and have a great day.